Isn't it just beautiful, Steve? Isn't it just beautiful? Steve? Steven? Steven? Are you alive? Oh, that's it, you little shit. How does it feel to have an arrow in the foot, motherfucker? Holy shit, you can't even see the land from out here. I wonder if the neighbours are on. It's so scary. I'm on my own, in the middle of the ocean, on top of a nipple. Nah, we're actually on a decent iceberg. So the good news, okay? The good news is that we got a metal chest plate BP, a metal face mask BP. The bad news is we've got no guns. <laughs> no guns. However, we did get the weapon laser sight. I did get that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make myself a revolver, gear up a bit, and I'm going to head off to some of the... I think they're called dungeons. I just realised last episode, right, I forgot to tell you guys the second edition of the horror story that happened right here. Big Steve is busy tonight, so I thought I'm going to make this solo, but I want to tell you this little story as well. There we go. Revolver. Can you put a, a laser sight on that? Oh, shit. I'm just going to go and put pretty much all of our wood into the furnaces so we get some charcoal and stuff, because... I've got a C4 blueprint, okay? I ain't afraid to use it. Hello world of rain and shit weather. Which reminds me of England. If, you, if you're from England, you know what I mean, all right? Oh, look at that. That was a nice little surprise, isn't it? So here we go. Fuck it. All the wood. <laughs> all the wood. Wait, we've got four. 45,000 divided by four is 11,250. I should literally just go, I should just quit YouTube and just go and attend one of those maths things. Fucking be rolling in money, bro. I have no idea what I'm talking about. Right, I'm all ready. I'm all ready. I thought we can have more than four bullets. What the fuck? Okay, we've got six. Sweet. I don't actually know the damage from this gun. I feel like I want to, <laughs> I want to test it out, but ah, uh, he'll kill me. All right, so I've just gone to the coast of where the base is. That's the nipple iceberg. That's the iceberg that our friends have built on, and then we're, like, just behind it, I think. But there should be a warehouse around here somewhere. Okay, I realised we're pretty far away from it, but I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna run it, okay? I think the goal of this episode is to pimp myself out with some guns and shit. Right, so whilst I'm running to this warehouse, I'm gonna, I'm gonna begin the story. I'm actually gonna say, if you, if you don't really know what I'm referring to, okay, I made a story video, like... A month ago maybe and why if i stopped moving what the fuck and basically i was just like i just told a ghost experience i had in my house um it was kind of freaky i was in the house by myself it involved my dog i thought my dog was possessed by some shit if you want to it's quite a long story so if you want to go and sort of listen to that at some point after this video before whatever i'll leave it in what what the fuck am i doing with my hand bro i'll leave it in the description but that's the reason why this it makes this weirder because it involves the dog again so I, I will tell you it now though i'll tell you it now it was a cold winter's night bucks had just had a very busy evening of filming youtube videos finally after 78 straight hours in that one evening <laughs> bucks was ready to go to bed and get some well needed beauty sleep Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna stop with that now. I'm sorry. So I was all, I was all ready for bed. I was knackered at work the next morning, and my dog my dog doesn't normally do this, right? My dog normally just sort of chills out downstairs, but she was up in my bed, just sort of like sleeping until about 2 a.m. And it got to the point where I'm like, okay, look, look, seriously, bro, you need to move. Okay, you need you need to get out. You need to get out of my bed. All right, I cannot have you just sitting here in my bed. Oh, look, it's the warehouse. Let's, uh, I'm actually going to sit at home here. Hang on. So she had been sleeping on the end of my bed for like, I, I don't know how long, about two hours, right? And therefore, because this, the, my dog is obviously a living thing. It's a dog. It's warm blooded. The, the area on my bed where she was sleeping was like really hot. Well, not really, really hot. Not, not like an oven. Oh, look, a rocket. Look at that. So it was really warm, this area of my bed. So I finally switched all the lights off around the house. Put my dog to sleep. Everyone else was in bed at this point. And I, um, I come back upstairs, right? I come back up. Go into my room. Turn off the lights. And I get into my bed, okay? And obviously, when I put my feet over where my dog was sleeping, it was really warm. Now, this is totally normal, right? Absolutely, totally normal. It was cool. I literally, this is the freaky part. I said, when, when this happened, oh, there's nothing in this warehouse. I basically remember saying to myself, I remember saying to myself, wow, 
I should get Miley to sleep up here more often. I wish this happened every night because my feet were really warm and toasty from where she was sleeping. Doesn't sound that weird, right? Doesn't sound doesn't sound that weird at all. Not until we we enter the following night. Now the following night, same situation, full on evening of, of recording videos and editing and stuff and uh, ready to go to bed, got work in the morning, I'm up to like 2am again. And this time though, Miley, my dog, is is nowhere, is, is, is she wasn't upstairs, the whole night was not upstairs. Now this was the evening that I recorded a setup video, okay? And as you can see in my video, there's just a bunch of shopping all over my bed and stuff, right? I'm just going to the military tunnel now. I remember being so tired, I was literally just like, oh, I just get all the shit off my bed, just like put it all to one side of my room, got into bed, and this is where shit got really real okay the dog had not been on the dog couldn't have even got onto the bed because there, it was so full of shopping okay this is where this is where it got weird so i get into bed and i stretch my legs out okay and i shit you not in the exact same spot that was hot from the from the previous night where my dog had been sleeping okay the exact same spot it was it was the same temperature it was hot again and this really freaked me out one because i was i've been i was in my room the whole night my dog did not come into my room nobody sat on the bed there before i went to bed it is my bed was covered in shopping shopping doesn't give heat shopping isn't a real person or a thing it's not warm-blooded how the fuck did that one specific part of my bed get hot and then secondly because the night before i said oh i wish this i wish this could happen every single night like this hot spot on the bed and it, it really freaked me out i was literally just sitting there like what the fuck it was warm it was it was literally it freaked me out okay the thing is i don't really think too much of it at the time because i was just i was so tired i just wanted to go to sleep i was completely oblivious to the fact that that is literally impossible that just that just totally freaked me out because i know i've had a previous experience in this house with the dog as well and ah uh, it was just it was just weird it was basically as if someone had listened to me saying what i said the night before the reason why it starts freaking me out is i was thinking like it was literally is you can't really see it but i'm looking at it right now it's on the corner of my bed you sit on that corner of the bed you can literally see what i'm doing it's where everyone sits that's like r around that's not sitting on a chair or whatever and it freaked me out because there's no nobody came into my room that night no human no dog so it's literally like something or someone was sitting on the end of my bed for however long sitting right there and it just it, it freaked me out i also got a screenshot of this the other day i randomly went onto a video of mine and i saw this that fucking freaked me out as well <laughs> anyway okay look what the actual hell was going on here is that the helicopter just being destroyed? No, oh, I can see it over there, look. Oh shit. Oh, I got a headshot on him. Oh no. No, <laughs> shit. Damn it, I've only had a bullet there. Fuck. That's not good. Oh god, I'm literally in the middle of like a fucking war zone right here. Oh, I got hit, I got hit. Oh, there's people shooting at him as well. Oh no, they're going to be shooting at me, aren't they? I'm going to sneak up behind him. Come on, hopefully they hit him. Oh, they hit him, they hit him, they hit him. How am I missing these shots? Fuck. Why is it so hard to aim with this thing? I got him. Okay, I'm taking that gun. Oh boy. I got his bolt, right? Okay, fuck it. I'm getting out of here. I'm getting out of here. <laughs> I just got his bolt. I just got his bolt. It's got a skin on it as well. I also got a road sign kill here as well. Awesome. There are so many people there. I'm, I'm not going to just... I'm not just going to lose this boat when I need a BP so badly. Screw what's that, wherever the helicopter truck. There was loads of people there. I'm pretty sure I would have just died. Anyway, I'm literally just going to go and research this and then let's see what I can get with it. Oh, 
What the fuck? I just want my sniper back. Just want my sniper back. Oh, no, it happened again. <laughs> what the fuck? That stupid door. I bet you I'm going to get this in 3% because it's like three sides to a triangle. Illuminati shit. 666. Six, six. Nope. Okay. I'm not doing it again. I'm just going to repair it and use it. How frustrating. Go on. Just do it. Just do it. This game just hates me. This game literally just fucking hates me. Screw everything, bro. I know people are just like, why don't you take a gun BP off people or whoever. I don't mind taking some like wooden stone off someone to help build a base, but when it comes to getting my blueprints, you know. All right, fuck it. I'm, I'm just, I'm literally just gonna run around as a naked, see if I can get anything lucky. Servers restarting in 30 seconds. Now is, now is my chance. Come on. Come on, chest. Oh, oh wow. Look at this. This looks like a a huge anal crack. I see your true colors shining through. Oh no. Oh no. Oh god. Oh god, I'm like a slippery dildo. What? Okay, so I'm here. I'm gonna head southwest. Actually, I'm gonna go southeast to this warehouse, then southwest to the power plant. Oh, I see it. I see it. Look at that glorious little building right there. Well, well, well. Look what we have here. Let me just uh, gear up Mr. Bear. Now, this is how you do bear hunting in Russia, guys. Like to just chuck this shit like this. Oh, no. Oh, no. Why isn't it chasing me? Hello? Mr. Bear? You seem, uh, you seem pretty upset, bro. You, uh, you lost? I'm going to name you George. George the Bear. Bucks is a well-known bear whisperer. He manages to make friends with bears. And also, he knows them so well that he can see inside them. Sometimes Bucks just likes to turn into the bear, like so. Okay, for real, before you think I'm, <laughs> I'm cheating or some shit. I don't know what's going on with this bear. I, I think it's glitched, okay? It's just not moving. Let's see if we uh, can aggravate it. Oh, fuck. I'm going to leave him be. <laughs> what even has been the last minute of this video? Alright, guys, so we've got a bolt and we've got a custom SMG. Maybe we'll trade them for someone else's bolt or custom SMG or we'll just use them. I think we're just going to try and use them to uh, kill more people or whatever, me and Big Steve, in the next video. So look forward to that. We'll get some action up and running and shit. Hopefully you've enjoyed this. If you did, make sure you give it a huge thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. Become a Buccaneer. And I shall see you all in the next video. Goodbye and roll the outro.